the Steam controller is a generational piece of hardware, one that's never been replicated since. It's got its fair share of fans and fair share of haters that simply didn't get it. Developed as part of the Steam Machine initiative, the Steam controller ultimately did fail alongside the Steam Machine. But unlike the Steam Machines, the Steam controller was truly a unique beast, and one that begs to be re-explored. And there are rumblings that Valve is doing just that. The first thing most people will notice is the lack of a D-pad and right analog stick, instead opting for twin trackpads. These twin trackpads are the focal point of the controller, and if you didn't like them, then you wouldn't like the controller at all. Valve's idea was that the Steam Machine would bring PC gaming to the living room. And while yes, you could use controllers just fine to play your indie games or controller-friendly games, there were a plethora of PC titles that don't really play well on a controller. But playing with keyboard and mouse on the couch is kind of cumbersome. It didn't really matter if you used like one of those lap boards or perhaps one of those mini keyboard and mice combos, it's just not a great experience no matter how you slice it. And with that, Valve designed the Steam controller and Steam input to go along with it. And the rest is history. The Steam controller had trackpads to let you do mousing functions, but also do other things depending on how you configured Steam input. And while Valve may no longer sell the Steam controller, Valve still supports it to this day. And of course, the actual brains of the controller Steam input still lives to this day. And as you can see here, the Steam Deck inherited a lot of things from the Steam controller, such as its dual trackpads. It's proof that while Valve may have stopped selling the Steam controller, Valve never fully gave up on the idea of trackpads for gaming. And personally speaking, I have a Steam controller, and the Steam controller is a very unique piece of kit. My personal opinion is that it is suitable for a lot of PC games, but there are some PC games that it's just not my favorite option for. Like for example, 2D games that make use of the D-pad. If you look at the left trackpad for the Steam Controller, there's a sort of D-pad indentation. And yes, you can have the Steam Controller emulate a D-pad of sorts. And yes, for what it's worth, it is serviceable. I've 100%ed Momodora with the Steam Controller. But just playing these sorts of 2D games with a D-pad, and especially fighting games with a D-pad, it just feels a lot more natural, you know? Like, legitimately speaking, you'd be hard-pressed to input some complicated fighting game motions on the Steam Controller. But aside from 2D games, I feel like the Steam Controller is great for many, many other genres. Many people are clamoring for a new Steam Machine, but I think the reason why people are clamoring for a Steam Machine is so that Valve can make a Steam Controller 2 of sorts. But the big question now is, is the world ready for a Steam Controller 2? And more importantly, what direction will Valve take the Steam Controller 2? Let's talk about that, shall we? Realistically, there are two main directions Valve could take with the Steam Controller 2. First and foremost, of course, being a Steam Deck-like controller. In theory, this would be a Steam Deck, but turned into a controller. You know, the face buttons, D-pad, analog sticks, trackpads, bumpers and triggers, and two sets of back buttons. When people say they want a Steam Controller 2, more often than that, they're talking about this, a sort of Steam Deck controller. In theory, this should cover everything. Everything from playing your games that work well on controller to playing PC games that don't work well on controller. But Steam Controller enthusiasts take issue with one thing. The trackpads aren't the focal point. The Steam Deck has trackpads, but they're not the focal point. Depending on what game you're playing, you're not forced to use them or even really adapt to them. But with the Steam Controller, you are. And what the Steam Controller faithful want is more or less just the same Steam Controller, but better. As you know, the Steam Deck features better haptics for the trackpads than the original Steam Controller does, and I agree. The Steam Controller also features the trackpads in a more focal position, and generally speaking, it's more conducive to trackpad gameplay, in my opinion. So let me know that in the comments, what type of Steam Controller would you prefer? A Steam Deck-like controller, or something more akin to the actual Steam Controller? For what it's worth, the Hori controller itself is not a bad concept. A lot of people do deride this controller because, simply put, it has no trackpads. 
But I think the problems with the Hori controller go a little deeper than just a lack of trackpads. I think it's just a fundamentally flawed controller. For whatever reason, it just doesn't feel right to play on. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of Hori's controllers, so I think this concept made by a different company would be killer. Which brings me to this clip right here. This video right here has been floating around in the Steam controller community, and no one is entirely sure where this came from, but this appears to be a another Steam controller. At first glance, I thought that maybe this was just a customized Xbox Elite controller, but then I looked a little closer, and then I realized that, yes, I forgot that Xbox controllers don't have gyro. And as you can see here, the gyro only moves when you put your thumb on the right thumbstick, and this is something that's only ever been seen on Valve's own controllers, or the Hori pad for Steam. And outside of all of this, there have been reports of Valve working on the Steam controller too, behind the scenes. Probably a coincidence that this came up. All I'm trying to say is, Valve, make a Steam controller too. I'll buy it. If you like this video, please press the like button and check out our other videos. And if you like those other videos as well, be sure to press the subscribe button and share the good gospel of high-tech lowlife with your friends. Furthermore, we have a community discord for enlightened individuals such as you. And if you wish to further support high-tech lowlife, be sure to check out our Patreon page. Links in the description.